Hello, welcome to Crafting with Caitlin and Daddy. Today we have a special guest star with us, Micah. Welcome, Micah. Well, today we're going to be making pencil boxes. We have two different types of pencil holders. Um, we have these ones we made from recycled cans or recycled goods of some type. We also have these ones here which we made out of cardboard. So stick with us today. We'll show you how to make these pencil holders. Ready? Yes, we are. See you later. Let's get crafting. Let's get crafting. Let's get crafting, whatever they say. Yeah. Yeah. All right, some supplies you're going to need today are cloth or fabric, um, jars that you want. It can be it's a jelly jar, and that one's a uh, what is that? baking soda. Baking and soda. you could also use soup, as long as you clean it up. Yeah. Clean, clean it inside of it. And you'll need fabric scissors and any. A paper with a design on it. Yeah. And you'll need glue, hot glue gun. Also some type of container, something like an old soda bottle or a paper towel container. For and pencils. For pencils, something like an old pencils. And some cardboard that you can cut up and use for part of the project. It's like a high heel bottle. Mm-hmm. Alright, you ready? Let's get crafting. Do it. Use a jelly container, peel the label off, and wash it out, but don't put your mouth to it. You can also use a baking powder container, peel the label, and clean it out. That's right, all right. And for the jelly container, we're gonna to need to go ahead and cut off the top um, so that we can have it easier accessible there. So we're gonna do that, and we'll see you in a second. Remember an adult, okay? Yes, have an adult do it, it's kinda of dangerous. Yeah, because you'll cut your fingers off. Duh. Alright, so go ahead and get your fabric and get it close to the size you need um, for what you're doing. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue the fabric onto the container and then we're going to cut the fabric once it's on the container, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is where we need our glue gun out, and we're going to see how we can do this. Let's we'll start with Caitlin's. Get an adult on this one too. It's an adult. All right, go ahead and put some hot glue right there, mm -hmm. right in the middle. Right the top. There you go. All right. There you go. Line it up the best you can here. Okay. So. Alright, we got our first two projects done! Which so, one looks better? Probably Micah's. That is cool, I like the design. Right. You gotta trim those hairs up. So, project number one, done, right? Ready to yeah. try Let's do pencil holder style number two! You ready for number two? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna make a birthday cake pencil holder now. There you go. First thing you need to do is to go ahead and cut out your birthday cake design or whatever design you have picked out out of the paper, all right? Um, we're going to... Hold this up. We're going to mark our cutout cake and we're going to trace it so we can get the cardboard cut out. All right, there you go. Next thing, next thing you want to do is you want to take your cardboard you want to cut it out to that shape. We need two of those the same shape as the whatever your object is whether it's the um, birthday cake or something else. All right next thing you're going to need is to glue the birthday cake onto one of those. So Kaylin and Mike are going to do that now. You want to use some type of craft glue or something. You don't use hot glue for that. Mistakes you do. Just a little happy accident. We'll cut that out. No one's gonna know. 
Go ahead and, go ahead and re glue that. Go. So you'll need your fabric and you'll lay it out straight and flat. Nice and flat with the, the good side down. This is the back of the fabric here. Next, take your cardboard cutouts and put some hot glue here in the middle. There you go, that's good. All right, and line it up on your fabric and stick it down on there. And then let that sit for a minute to kind of cool off. The next thing you want to do is to cut out, not too close, but cut out a general idea of the shape out in the fabric. So, Caitlin's going to do that. Okay, so. All right. Okay. So, now we're going to take, now that you got this kind of piece, see it's kind of, the fabric stuck to it, but it's not real tight. Next you want to do is you want to flip it over and peel back the fabric so that the cardboard's exposed and then we're going to have the hot glue buddy. Hot glue buddy. Hot glue buddy. Just go around the outside edge there, okay? Actually. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and glue that there. Glue it. Glue. Glue, glue, and go this way too. Keep going. All right, that's good. Ooh. Then you want to push that fabric down on the outside, get that on there nice and secure. This is going to keep the fabric on there. And go ahead and do that and work your way all the way around. All right, Kaylin's turn. And now we have our fabric on our cake cardboard thingy. All right, so now we have Caitlin. Cut really close to the edge now. Now you want to cut real close to all the way around, okay? Okay, so, oh yes. Now go ahead and do that to both sides of the other piece of fat, of the other piece of cardboard, all right? So, when you're all done, you should have uh, one side with the picture on it, and the back side should be covered in fabric. One side is the same shape as your picture, but it's covered on both sides with fabric, okay? And then one piece which goes in the middle, which should be covered on both sides with fabric, all right? So the next thing you need to do is get your soda bottle and get that cut apart. We're using one of these soda bottles. You wanna go ahead and cut the top off and then also cut the bottom off so that you're just left with the center part there, okay? And you need three of those, you got it? We have our three pieces here, and we need to go ahead and glue them onto our long, narrow piece, all right? All right, so now we're going to glue our sides together. We let Micah jump in. All right, Micah, if you could put a line of glue right across there. All the way at the bottom, all the way at the bottom. There you go, keep it going. I need some right there. It's okay, it's good. Alright, stop. You're gonna take, you're gonna push your side in and make sure the sides are lined up. And push that in there. One, Alright, so the next we're going to we need to put a little bit of glue right there, Micah. See where I put my finger? Right, and then you're gonna kind of pinch that in there. Careful, it's gonna be hot. Go ahead and do the next one right here. And one final one here on the end. Can you reach over and get that one? Make sure it's down where the bottle top's at. So, basically, do the same thing here with the other side, all right? You guys will be able to let you glue it this time. Okay, guys, I think we are done. All right, we're wrapped up here. Go. And there we got our birthday cake pencil holder, and we also got our other two pencil holders we made today. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget to keep on crafting out there. Oh yeah! Yeah! Subscribe! Subscribe! Cheesy plug. All right, everyone, gotta pause and hold it. Ah.